wanted to walk you through how I'm setting up my Week in the Life album, album for this year, 2016. This is my first year doing Week in the Life. I've been watching other people do this kind of album for several years now, and I've just never had the gumption to just jump on in and do it myself. But this year, I figured there is no time like the present, so why not give it a try? Um, so there's a couple things you need to know before we get started. First of all, I did not do the same week as Allie Edwards. Um, the week that she did her Week in the Life, I was actually traveling, and I knew that wouldn't really give a good snapshot of what my life is like in a typical week. So instead, I did the week after. And things weren't exactly typical that week either. Uh, my boyfriend Jay was out of town. He was in Las Vegas all week, so it was just me here at the house with the dogs. Um, but I kind of liked that because I thought it would be a nice contrast to our Project Life album, which is all about both of us together, Whereas this would be really just about what I do in a typical week, just me. So it's a little bit just about me, a little bit week in the life, um, and I'm so far liking how it's turning out. Okay, so the other thing you need to know is that I chose not to purchase the Week in the Life kit from Allie Edwards. I went back and forth about it for a really long time. I really love the kit this year. But ultimately, I decided that um, I needed to just use what I have on hand. Uh, we are in the process of downsizing to a much smaller house than the one we're currently living in, and it will mean that I won't have a designated craft room anymore. So um, my stash either needs to be used or I need to get rid of it. So rather than bring in more materials and more supplies, I decided just to use what I had on hand. So that being said, here is what I came up with for this year's Week in the Life. Um, I started with this album. I went to my stash. I had several to choose from. I had a old 6x6 We Are Memory Keepers album. I had a 6x8 Snap album and several um, half sheet, which is 55 by 85 albums from... Um, from Target, just from the office supply section in Target, which I've been collecting. Um, but ultimately I decided to go with this one for a couple reasons. I really like the size. It's a bit bigger. Um, it's actually a seven by nine inch journal. And this is a capture album from Basic Gray. It's from the Hipster collection, as you can see. Uh, it's several years old. I've had it sitting in my stash for quite a while now, and I've just never found the right way to use it for um, one big reason in particular. While I really love this uh, wood grain chipboard cover, as you can see, I don't know if you can see that in the video, but it's got um, an embossed kind of wood grain texture to it. I really love that. Not so crazy about the hipster uh, paper that is on the binding. Um, I thought it was really cute when I bought it, but when it came time to actually use it and fit it into our life somehow, um, it just didn't work. So I am using this album, but I am going to cover the binding with another paper, um, with this paper here actually. This is a roll of uh, wrapping paper just from Michaels. It was in the little gift section that they have. Um, it's a French bowl pattern and I just love the colors and I love the pattern and I'm a big fan of the French bowl designs anyway. Um, and I thought this would be just a wonderful bright color scheme for my album this year. Um, so that's what I'm going with. That's what I'm covering. Uh, the outside of the album with and it may make an appearance inside the album as well. Um, the other big kind of issue with this album is that it only comes with six page protectors um, and I'll show you. You get two each of three designs. One is just a full sheet seven by nine page. You get two of those two of this, which has a four by six at the bottom, and then two that are approximately three by five. I think it's slightly over three and about five inches, um, which is a, a bit of an awkward size. Um, and then this one, which has squares that are uh, approximately three inches by three inches. Um, so you get two of those as well. But there are only six total, and that clearly 
was not going to be enough for a, a Week in the Life album. So I, I needed to go to my stash and, and see what else I could find. Um, turns out I actually had another pack of Capture page protectors in my stash, um, which is a very good thing since you cannot get these anymore. This is a, an old line that is no longer available, at least not anywhere I searched. Um, so I ended up having double, so I had 12 of them. I still didn't feel like that was quite enough for what I wanted to do, so I grabbed a couple other things. First of all, I grabbed a few of these Simple Stories 6x8 page protectors from the Snap line. Um, I had to punch holes so that they would fit in this album, but that was pretty easy to do. I um, actually just used one of those old school page punch, hole punch thingies from the office supply store, nothing fancy, um, but it worked really well and I just lined it up with one of these uh, protectors to get the, the spacing right. Um, so I have several of those that I'm going to include. And then for my uh, title page, I wanted to have something a bit smaller, um, not so wide, so I chose a Becky Higgins Design Eye Page Protector um, that I just trimmed off the top. So I just lined it up with one of the uh, basic gray page protectors and just trimmed off the very top and then again just punched holes where they needed to be. The album also comes with these page dividers um, which I won't be using. Um, they just don't go with the color scheme so I will find another project to use those on or um, maybe not. We'll see. Okay so that is the album as I have um, have it so far. As for the things that I will include in my album. Um, I just went through my stash mostly. Uh, I went through previous Studio Calico kits. I have quite a few that are just sitting around. Um, I'm pretty far behind on Project Life. Um, so there were quite a few that um, were almost whole kits still. Um, so I had plenty to choose from. So um, start with the journal cards that I pulled. I pulled a few four by six, not very many. Um, these are from the most recent Studio Calico kit, which um, are obviously perfect for this kind of project. Uh, the others, basically what I was looking for was anything that had to do with um, today or days of the week or morning, evening, a.m., p.m., that sort of thing. And then anything that went along with my color scheme as well. Uh, my Project Life albums are monthly and they have been for several years now. So I don't use a lot of the products that come in the kits that are labeled with the days of the week. That's just now not how my Project Life album works. So um, I had quite a few of those sorts of things sitting in the kit still. Um, these are the 3x4 cards that I pulled. Again, there are more here than, than I will likely use, um, but I wanted to have plenty to choose from. Um, and again, I chose things that had to do with days of the week, with today, with now, currently, uh, that sort of thing. And then anything in the color scheme uh, and anything that had a script, I also looked for that just because I wanted to include um, things that that had things that looked like they were handwritten. Okay, so those are the journal cards. Um, I also grabbed some embellishments. Most of this is also from the Studio Calico kits. Um, one thing that isn't are these Kelly Perky Second City Flare badges. Um, I thought they, some of them anyway, went with the color scheme and I really liked them and I just hadn't had the chance to use them so I grabbed those. Um, have a few sheets of uh, phrase stickers. Um, these three are from Studio Calico Kits. This is an older Cosmo Cricut Tiny Text. Uh, I know that Allie is using a lot of these in her album this year and I really like the way that it looks, so I thought I would try uh, to incorporate some of those as well. Um, only one thing of Alpha stickers so far, I'm sure that I will use more than this, but this is the one I pulled to start with. Um, I have some chipboard. These are all from previous Studio Calico kits. These little Hello Forever word chipboard pieces, some hearts and then um, some things that had phrases that I thought would work well, like AM, PM, and daily routine, that sort of thing. Uh, I 
handful of labels, um, again, all from Studio Calico Kits. These have the days of the week on them. You can see I've not used any of these. Um, these little sticky notes from Kelly Perky for Studio Calico. Um, and then some die cut pieces and stickers just kind of randomly that had bright colors that I thought would work well with my color scheme. Pulled them just in case I would want to use them. I'm not really sure what I will do with those. And then some smaller bits. These little uh, acetate pieces from Hello Forever for Studio Calico. They have the days of the week on them. I thought that would be pretty perfect to use for this project. Um, and they match the color scheme as well. Oops. There. And then these little um, embossed pieces have also the days of the week on them. I really love these. I'm really kind of amazed that I haven't used these already, but here they are. So hopefully I can incorporate those into the album. Uh, and then these also little plastic pieces have the days of the week on them. These also have the days of the week on them. They're little tabs. Um, I definitely want to incorporate these. I'm thinking of using these to uh, mark somehow, I'm not sure how, but mark each section of my album for each day of the week. Um, so I plan to incorporate those. And then these gold geotags also not from a Studio Calico kit. They are Studio Calico, but they were just from my stash. Um, definitely want to incorporate those. And then these little um, word wood chips from Studio Calico as well. So um, that's what I have for embellishments so far. Oops, lost a little piece. I also grabbed some stamps. These are all from Studio Calico Kits. Um, they just had phrases again that I thought would work well. Uh, and then these two roller phrase stamps. This one is Jasmine Jones. It has um, lots of phrases to do with food. Uh, and a lot of what I documented, obviously, is, is food. So I thought that would definitely come in handy. And then this Studio Calico one, I grabbed it mainly because it has... Uh, this time stamp, which um, I thought would be fun to include on some of my photos. So we'll see how that works. Um, I'm sure there will be more stamps that I pull, but that's what I have so far. And then some washi tape, again from Studio Calico Kits. Um, you can see they haven't even been opened. And then um, finally, the only thing that I have purchased specifically for this album so far are these little metal uh, binder labels that I just plan to put on the outside of my binder once I've covered uh, the, the binding um, just so I can label what the album is and be able to find it on my shelves later on. So that is what I have so far. Um, I have a lot of work left to do. I need to cover my binder. I need to print all my photos. I need to figure out how I'm going to incorporate my daily journaling and then how I'm going to lay everything out in the photo or in the album. So um, hopefully I will be back later this week to share some more progress with you. Um, I hope that you have been able to gain some inspiration from what I've shared with you today. And if you liked the video, please click the little like button below it and um, follow my channel if you want to uh, learn more about my, pro or follow along with my album, see my progress, learn more about what I'm doing. Thank you.